we're ready for the, we're waiting for the inspector. All right. We're going to be in gear. We're going to be in our low range. And the truck's going to be turned off completely. We're going to have enough air already built up in the system because we drove there. You're going to see the inspector walk towards the truck. The first thing you're going to do, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to turn the lights on. Now your lights are on. You don't have to worry about the lights being on. Okay? They're going to get in. You're going to say good, hello, good morning, whatever, in the afternoon. And she'll say proceed. You say, I want to do the first four parts of my static check. Okay? So, truck goes to the on position. Okay? My lights are on. This is in gear. The reason you have it in gear for the first part of the static check is so you can push the brakes in. I listen. I watch. I've had no more than three pounds of air loss. I wait. Keep my eye on the Hold it there for say 20 seconds. I take my foot off and I tell them I've had no more than four pounds of air loss. Okay? Now I start pumping. My indicator lights for my low air came on between 50 and 60 pounds. My spring brakes activated between 30 and 40 pounds. I'm going to start the truck and I'm going to proceed with the inside check while my air builds to the air governor of 120 pounds. I'm going to put my foot on the clutch and take it out of gear. Now the truck can't roll anymore because the. Right. Okay, got that? First <coughs> Let's start the truck. Now while that's happening, so the air is building to 120 pounds, my dome light works, my glass mirrors, no cracks or breaks, my windshield has no cracks or breaks, no obstructions, my windshield, wip my windshield wiper is working, my sprayer is working, and I have the proper tension. My gauge lights are all working. All my gauges are working properly. My left indicator is working. My right indicator is working. My four ways are working. And my high beam indicator is working. It's off, it's just, it's off. Okay, all right. So, I've done that. I take my steering wheel. This. I had no more than two, uh, in, you know, two inches two of free play. or two degrees of, or two inches of play. Bring the steering wheel all the way over and just let the steering wheel go. Okay? I'm at the steering wheel. My city horn works. I have an air horn that's right here, but I won't blow it because I'm within city limits. My air conditioner is working. My heater is working. My defroster is working. My seatbelt is operating properly, has no cuts or frays. My safety equipment, is, if we're using this truck by the way, is located in the outside compartment. My spare fuses and fuses are there. When we get out to do the pre-check, because they're on that side, what you might want to do, all right, I'm going to, as a matter of fact, I'm going to ask her, uh, because they're on the side there, I'm going to walk out there and ask her, you're going to be pulled up 
facing out of traffic. Sometimes they don't want you to go in the traffic. So she might want you to just mention that you have them. They're in the side yep. compartment, okay? If they want to see them, then you just pull that cord, and as you're pulling the cord, just pull up on that thing and show her, okay? That's part of your safety equipment. So remember that. You got three safety equipment. Spare fuses and, and fuses. Triangles. Your, your fully charged uh, fire extinguisher and your three reflective triangles. The seatbelt's also part of the safety equipment. Now you can ask her, would you like me to do my tug my tug test now or wait until we're ready to proceed? And she'll say one or the other. If she says do it, all you do is put it in gear. First, put in the trailer brake. Leave the tractor brake out, pull against it. You tell her your tractor brake's working properly. Pull it out. Push your tractor brake in. My trailer brakes are working properly. Pull it back up. You've now done five parts of your static check. Okay? You're done inside. Now we get out. Now you make sure you're back in gear. You're out of gear. Okay? I'm already all the way over to the right. Now we just get out.